welcome to today's video. I'm riding a bike in the rain. It's my last day up north on the way to Backyard Bike Shop for a quick coffee and then train home. I swear we've had a good week for weather. This is an anomaly. The northeast is pretty dry. Finally got to Backyard Bike Shop. They've got a bus now. Why have they got a bus? Bought it. Weddings. So we come here for a quick coffee before I then go to another station to get the train. Uh, turns out Nick crashed yesterday and uh, he was riding in some gravel and ended up smashing up his frame. So have a look at that. I think he's got footage of it. I've seen this. Did you have an accident? Yeah. Only a slight one. Oh. I don't know. Own goal. Uh, did some of the craziest mountain biking trails. I'll put the footage in here. <laughs> Oh, One of the lads just rode into me that a massive pile up on the flattest, smoothest bit of gravel in the whole of the northeast. This was the ride you invited me on as well. Yeah, it's the safe one, me. yeah, yeah. The safe. Me laugh, bro. <laughs> yeah. Why why can't I make you laugh? Two broken ribs. No. And shoulder and well shoulders and broken just hurt. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Neck whiplash. Uh, mild concussion. I should love. Yeah, How's I mean, the bike? I'll get it out and show you. Well, actually. You won't get out. James, can you get out please? Well IT is like the Italian version of dotco.uk. Yeah, yeah. Well, the most old school video. I think the design's improved over the years. It has, yeah. A little bit. There's at least four different fonts there of Villiers. Did it off? Yeah. Is, that's not actually that old a bike, is it? So that's probably, what, 15, 10, 15 years? Oh, frame, yeah. This is probably at the point that things were transitioning into carbon, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So that's probably like, a reach, that's probably back in the day, like a proper top end race bike, alloy frame race bike. There's like a, a mega long downhill section went down. Dave and I were absolutely flying. No incidents, no problems, no concerns. Mental. And then everybody made it down there alive. And then on the flattest, smoothest bit of gravel track I've ever seen, just stacked it, rode into each other. Um, well, you see the video. You didn't do anything wrong. You were, you were riding along. Oh, yeah, perfectly fine, like, by myself. Yeah, yeah. It's these northerners, yeah, I mean, you can't trust them. <laughs> Look at the angle of the bars. Another bar. And then the best is. Were, were my wheels okay? Uh, your yeah, wheels my are wheels right. Yeah, yeah. You ride at home like that? Yeah, yeah. Ah. It's only about 10k. Jimmy was telling me this is like a custom painted fork. Yes. Some guy took ages doing. A guy called Ash Willerton <laughs> in there on the inside. So. Metal I'll frame. Get a new one. I'll frame this one up. Try and get him to paint me another one. I mean, he's an amazing artist. You see all these dots are all done by hand, perfectly round. The nice guy is that Joe Gillem has sent me a new free fork. So <laughs> That's all right, send then. a post. Get here before I'd be able to ride the bike again. Should take the stem off. See what it looks like. I know, mate. I'd be upset as well. Dave Hopper crashed in the back. Dave Hopper is like, he was on the national downhill squad at some time. Yeah. Back in the day, a motocross rider, like big time, like just really, really excellent rider. And he crashed in the back of us as well. Big joke. Well, after said, you guys went down? Well, he went down in the crash as well. But he said like he could have easily avoided it, but obviously the camera was on, so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that. The actual space is snapped in half as well. We can't even get this off. That's on. I cut the stereo too short and anyway, so I can get a longer one now. You're gonna leave that there? It stays out there most of the oh, time. Oh, it's gonna get fast breaks. <laughs> Look at it, man. It's fast. Check it out. Bruce, watch your, watch your bike. Bye, guys. The rain has followed us. Oh, I got a ride in this. Where's my bike? I threw it in the river, mate. Oh. Is it a river or the sea? No, it is the river. river. It is a river, it's not the sea. It's not the sea yet, anyway. You know what, I need eye protection. <laughs> all of this bird shit. I need eye protection from all this water. I'm gonna miss you guys. Oh man, it's been so good. It's been so good. I'll come up and see you soon, yeah? It's been the absolute best. Can you make sure you bring Daisy though? Yeah. yeah. She's a little bit more fun than you are. A little bit. You definitely have to come up more often. I'll do it, I promise. So I hope you enjoyed that little series of videos from Attica's headquarters. Uh, I'm now back down in the south. 
feels very warm. But that was a really fun time and thank you very much Nick for letting me use the footage of the crash. I hope that entertained you guys and I hope you heal fast. Now to sign today's video off, I've been chatting to the guy who makes these mounts. Some of you guys will recognize this. This is the GoPro mount I use. Uh, it goes in your mouth. Uh -oh. Pretty much all the GoPro footage that you see in my videos at the moment is using this mount. Because it's attached to your head, uh, your head's a super stable part of your body, you end up with the most silky smooth follow footage possible. And we are doing a competition to give away 12 of these. All you have to do to enter is comment down below why you should win one. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, there's actually no way I can check that you've done that, but give it a like anyway. I'll keep entries open for a week and uh, he will fulfill all of them, so I'll be in touch and I'll get your address. Then I'll pass the details over to Ken, who will fulfill and send these out. He's actually going to be releasing a new version of this mount, a new colour, but I think he's going to give you guys the choice of which one you win, if you win. So yeah, comment down below. Got 12 of these to give away. I am absolutely exhausted, so I'm gonna have a day off. Too many late nights and lots of bike riding up north. Just want to say a big thank you for watching. Uh, thank you to everybody who bought one of the custom jerseys that we made. We've sold loads of them so far, and the pre-orders are gonna be open for another four days, I think, when this video goes live. So huge thanks for that. The response was amazing. As usual, thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys soon.